Hello everyone, just wanted to share another uh, quick repair, hopefully save you more money. Uh, today I'm dealing with the washer again. It's a Roper uh, model number, says RTW4640, but uh, found out also Maytag and several other brands are the same or very, very similar. And what I'm dealing with today, or actually a couple of days, is this when it's on the high spin this thing here wobbles all over the place okay and I will show you now what I found uh, what you'll need to do of course is unplug it first then you go on the back and over here all you're going to do is remove only this um, little quarter inch screw bolt same of course on the other side and then right here this right here which is this right here so again you're only going to remove these two and you're going to remove the one you saw I left that on so you're going to remove that and see how easy this is this is what you were looking at okay and that's just going to come out after you do that, you'll be able to pull towards you a little bit, or it's easier. In my case, I just did this, pulled here a little bit towards the front, and by doing that, just jiggle it a little bit. Uh, some people like to put a piece of tape there so it won't open. I didn't have to. With one hand here. Okay. So this flips back and let me actually grab it and come back. Okay, if you ever wondered uh, what these uh, chains were for, that's what they were for. Okay, so back here as you can see, by it, uh, as it's spinning, of course, very, very high speed, it's tore this up. I didn't order that because I didn't want to spend that much money for that I just uh, I mean pretty soon I'm gonna be buying a new one a more modern one uh, so what I found out is right here you can see there right there and the same all around there's four of those right there okay supposedly these are supposed to be there now what I found very interesting and weird is this one didn't have them. And by looking online on blogs and doing a little research, found out several dozens and dozens of people complaining about the same thing, that theirs didn't have it. So Roper, Maytag, whoever you are, did you just do this on purpose? Did, uh, you know, mistake in the factory? Actually, I shouldn't even be paying for this and wasting my time because it didn't have it and it makes sense and the way they go on is with these rods here what most people are doing is replacing these rods if the rod does this there's nothing wrong with the rod I mean once you look at what the rod is um, you'll find out that it's not the rod if this is not uh, broken destroyed whatever by the movement and if you look on the bottom which I did and the same thing in my case, it seems like that's the only thing. Now, the places I called for the part strangely said, no, it only you only need two on the right side. So that's kind of weird. Okay. If I put two springs here, what's it going to do? It's going to pull it towards the right. So I ordered four, even though everywhere I looked, it says it only needs two. So why in the heck would you have that on this side also? This one is under where you put the bleach in. So you it's a little difficult to show you, but trust me, there's one under there also. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, in order to do that, I need to take th this piece off. And it's really easy with a screwdriver. Uh, you just gently pop that out here and here. And then this is going to come off. Okay, so again, I just uh, unclip that there and there. Same thing on the other side. I didn't take the whole thing off because um, all you got to do is pretty much lift right here. And by lifting, as you can see, 
the spring can go on there. Same thing here, just lift, the spring goes on there. Same thing right there. And then here, this, here's the tab I took off on the left hand side. There's the other one. And again, uh, hard to show you this one, but trust me, there's one under there also. Now the next thing you're gonna have to do is you're gonna have to reach in each one of these rods, okay? And pull it up. You're gonna see as you pull up, you're gonna be able to turn it. I'll show you actually on this one. Hopefully that focuses, yeah, there you go. So you're gonna lift the rod up, and by lifting it up, you're gonna swing it to here, and by doing that, of course, the rod is gonna come down. When it comes down, then all you do is you slide the spring in on each one of the four. Okay, uh, actually I found out it's, that spring down there is pretty, it's kind of hard with one hand, so when I, pulled the rod up, it was a lot easier just to turn this, and by turning this, okay, from what you see here, by turning this piece here to here, it was a lot easier just to let the uh, this go down, while holding on to it, of course, and that's how all four of them will look um, after you get that in. Okay, so again, very, very simple, as you can see, I got all four of them in okay and uh, again even though it still moves it just makes sense that it would have those four, four springs on there so now I would suggest check make sure these are exactly how they were before okay Make sure on the bottom the same thing. Maybe if you let it go uh, too far down, it went out of place. So check with some good light, or turn really easy to turn the the washer uh, on its side. Flip it back or flip it forward, depending on how much room you have, and make sure that the uh, these rods are in place at the bottom before finishing up. Of course, the next thing you want to do is the clips. Whether you just took the four like I did or the whole thing out, make sure that that's in place and then what you're going to do of course just uh, bring this down this is what you're working with to make it easier for you that's where it grabs on the front okay here and of course here this is why you have to bring it forward because of these two clips here so you bring it you're bringing it forward in reverse when putting it back and then here's where it locks in so again bring that down Okay, uh, oh, and this is the part number, so you can order the part. Uh, invest a little time, a couple of minutes looking around. I saw them for as ridiculous as 20 some dollars for a four to just under 10, if I recall, on Amazon is the cheapest and quickest. I mean, I ordered this yesterday, was here today, as, as much as I dislike uh, what this person is doing to a lot of businesses uh, with the competition. I mean, it's amazing that we can get uh, items so quickly uh, from Amazon uh, these days. So again, you may find it in eBay or somewhere else, um, but again, probably less than, less than $3 each, including shipping uh, for all four of them. So make sure you put this back, same thing, reverse, clip goes in. The little quarter inch um, uh, that I showed you came out on the back. And then this right here, oops, this right here on each side on the back, okay, which is where this right here uh, goes. So again, hopefully, um, as in a lot of my other videos, for those of you that are subscribed to the channel, or whether this is the first video you find, I saved you probably hundreds of dollars uh, if you would have had a guy come out and do this, or if I would have listened to um, my other half, bought a $1,000 uh, LG that she wants now, or Samsung, uh, well, it would be 2000 because now she wants both washer and dryer, which it's, it's coming, no big deal. I just, I just hate uh, to throw things away uh, when I can fix them. So if this helped you, please uh, like the video, subscribe, and share. Thank you.